for raw, uncut sports talk. We want all the sport. Friends sports all day, every day, baby. What's good, guys? Prince Sports here. Got my strawberry milkshake drink. Chilling in the dungeon, relaxing, testing out some of this new equipment. But let me tell you this much so it could get through your head so you can understand what I'm trying to say. LeBron James, right, will ultimately finish his career either top, top five or top ten in most categories. Rather, it's scoring, rebounding, assist, blocks, etc. Okay? Mainly because it's a longevity award. But in his case, these numbers and these stats are not coming naturally. They're not coming organically. They're coming because he is stat padding. He's deliberately looking to pad these stats to get to where he's getting. Hence to why his record in terms of losing his team success is not as impressive as some other players. Now you have guys like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant who put stats second and winning first. Okay, those guys rather shoot a bunch of times and win the game or excuse me, they rather shoot a bunch of times, miss a bunch of shots if they have to, but as long as they win, they're happy with the result. That's not LeBron James. LeBron James needs those numbers. He needs those stats. Now, you may say, oh, every player um, stat pads. To a certain extent, yes, but you're supposed to do it in your rookie years where you got something to prove. If you just came into the league, you're patting your stats to prove to these GMs that you could play, that you deserve to stay in the league, then fine. That's your show me years, okay? But when you get older, why are you stat padding when you are a veteran in the game? You're already established in the game of basketball. You shouldn't need to establish or try to prove to the world that you could still play by padding stats. Your number one focus should be winning and winning only. And in LeBron's case, you pick your teams. You get to play with multiple all-stars. So for you to come up short, more times than that you came up successful is a knock against you. Six finals losses is, un is uncalled for. Because some of those finals losses, you guys could have won. You had more than enough talent to win. But I know some of you um, get on, in, on your knees, LeBron lovers, are going to try to say otherwise. But the facts of the matter is, there's a reason why your stats are more, your individual stats are more impressive than your actual winning record wins and losses out of all those things that you about to accomplish when you retire how come your resume is going to be short of championships how come your resume is going to be short of actual the main goal in sports which is winning winning okay that's why you play the game all right now you may sit there and say Oh, he's not a stat pattern. He is, man. The guy wore a shirt that says, check, check out my stats. Now, you may say, oh, that's just a shirt. No, it's not. Because you wear what's on you as a representation of what you are, if that makes sense, okay? If I wear a shirt that says, welcome to Queensbridge Houses, I'm letting you know what I rep for. If I'm a blood, I'm wearing red. If I'm a crip, I'm wearing blue, okay? You wear your personality and what you represent for on your body every single day. I got a shirt on right now, an X-Men Marvel shirt, indicating that I like Marvel, which I do. Okay, so it's not that hard to figure out. But LeBron James will go down in basketball as the ultimate stat stuffer to me. He is the guy that knows how to manipulate stats and he knows how to get them pretty good. All right. But the problem I have with him stat stuffing is you're too old to be doing it. It's like a 50 year old guy trying to still gang bang, all right? To me, that's like, hold up. Shouldn't you be teaching these guys about the mistakes that you made? Showing them that, hey, this lifestyle is not for everybody to be joining in. So there comes a level of, why won't you just play the game to win and let your stats come naturally? If you get to them, then you get to them. Because ultimately, nobody's going to remember you for your stats, LeBron James. Nobody's going to care years from now that you're this 
uh, number one leader in this or number one leader in that. Nobody cares. It's just the number that's meant to be broken. Somebody's going to come along and break those very same stats that you have. But what if they break those very same stats that you have, but they got a more impressive record in winning? They're going to be called probably the GOAT, even ab above Michael Jordan. All right? Your problem is when it pertains to Michael Jordan or even Kobe Bryant. You have more red marks. You have more X's and on your resume than Michael Jordan does. Michael Jordan has more of the same thing you have, but more of it and less of the bad stuff that you have, but you have more of it. That's the problem with you coming into this GOAT conversation. You're only coming into it mainly now because of stats, because the winning is going to get thrown out the window. Okay? You should have more championships by now. There's no excuse to why you go to the finals over 10 times, if I'm not mistaken, 10 or 11 times, and you have less championships. It's uncalled for. Okay? Now, if you did most of these things, broke most of these records, and won at the same time, then maybe we have something more to talk about. But that's not the case. Dog, you're going to go down just like Oscar Robinson. Probably Walt Chamberlain, two guys that most people don't even consider the number one GOAT, but they got stats. They got video game stats. That's what you have, video game stats. You're the number one stat stuffer, number one stat patter of all time. You are excellent at padding stats, holding on to the ball and getting all these stats that absolutely mean nothing in most of these games. Because some of these games that you get your stats in, they're blowout games. Or they're games where you're getting blowout in. And there's no reason for you to even be playing in most aspects. Press sports out, man. Peace. Hopefully that got through your head of what I was telling you about. So you can understand the difference of why a veteran player shouldn't be stat padding. A rookie, a baby, go ahead and do it, man. You got, you got to make your money. You got, to put, you got to put those dollar signs up on your paycheck. You know, so I don't have a problem with stat padding per se but it depends on where and when are you at in your career Prince Sports out peace